Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is day one of the Black Friday release and sale. Hey, so I'm making a card using Jada Blossom's brand new Gnome Dyes 2, along with their Build-A-Booth Gingerbread House add-ons, the Gnome Dyes, the Build-A-Booth Dyes, the Gingerbread Wishes stamp set, the Gnome Dyes Gingerbread add-ons, and the Gnome Dyes sign add-ons. And I put that together during the Build-A-Booth Gingerbread add-ons assembly video, so check that out. And that little one was put uh, together on the Gnome Dyes um, gingerbread add-ons assembly video. I'm using Doodlebug's Gingerbread Kisses 6 inch pad and Rainbow Petite Prints and Gingham Linen and Dot Stripe. And I'm using P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones along with Doodlebug's Gingerbread Kisses um, odds and ends. There we go. So you remember you can watch me put the booth together and the little gnome gnome on the two separate um, assembly videos. So check those out over on the Jada Blossom YouTube site or on the Leanne K YouTube site. So first I start with a piece of paper tray ink, craft cardstock, cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. I cut a piece of pattern paper from that Gingerbread Wishes um, six inch pad, Gingerbread Kisses six inch pad, sorry, uh, one eighth of an inch smaller than the front of my card base. It's got this really cute gingerbread kind of Santa pattern in pink, which is fun. There we go. And I have this Gnome Dyes 2, um, which is brand new, and I'm going to put him together. So I start out with some black cardstock. I'm not sure the brand for this one. The gray beard is uh, Paper Tray Ink Soft Stone cardstock. I'm going to stick down his hat, which is pattern paper from that Gingerbread Kisses six inch pad from Doodlebug. Just got a lot of glue on there. I'm using my Nubo glue. There we go. I'm going to stick down my hat. It's got a cute little pattern. Now I will add on Paper Trank white cardstock. That is the, um, the icing. And remember you can watch me um, assemble um, those, the gingerbread, the gnome dyes, gingerbread add-ons. There's an assembly video for that one as well. So you can check that whole release out. Uh, that's an oldie. Okay. So I'm adding my little mustache on cut from that same paper tray ink soft stone cardstock. It's kind of fun. And I do like to overlap the hat a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to add a little nose with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals, just the miniature ones. You'll see that I'm working on my Stampin' Up pad. All my die cutting today was done with my Anna Griffin Empress machine. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to add the little jimmies or candies or whatever you want to call them on his hat. Now I cut them into in um, two colors, um, sort of like a, an aqua from the from like an aqua and like a hot pink from the gingham linen pads from doodlebug but i use the linen side i cover these up a little bit later anyway but you know i started out with these colors first so i'm just adding them all on using my studio katia embellishment wand remember most of them are the same most companies have them um, they're a great little tool for those tiny die cuts and I do weight that down. Now I'm pulling out my Gingerbread Wishes stamp set and I'm going to stamp on the little sign. I already cut that out with um, Paper Tray Ink Craft cardstock or out of Paper Tray Ink Craft cardstock. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm, I'm freehand stamping, so I'm stamping off to the side to make sure it's stamping well. I'm using an acrylic block and uh, VersaFine Claire Nocturne Ink. So it says, have a tasty... What does it say here? Have a tasty holiday. Sorry, like when I'm doing my voiceovers, I'm looking at a little window, so it's hard to see. There we go. And I cut it out a white first, paper tray and cardstock, and then I'm going to add my little craft sign to the front of this. There we go. And then I will weight that down with an acrylic block while it dries. There we go. Now I'm going to add a piece of Nina uh, Solar White 80 pound cardstock to the inside of my card, four by five and a quarter inches, just with a little bit of glue using that Nouveau glue. And the nice thing about glue is you got some wiggle time, right? There we go. Now I'm going to add a one inch strip of paper from that same Doodlebug Kiss, um, Doodlebug paper pad called Gingerbread Kisses. I'm using the six inch version and just a one inch strip and I will cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. 
So it's nice and easy stuff. It's a really cute little pattern, I think perfect for a gingerbread, you know, looking house on the outside of a card, right? There we go. And so cute there. Now I'm going to make sure that that score line is quite flattened. Now on the inside of the card, I'm going to stamp my sentiment and it's from that same sentiment stamp set called uh, Gingerbread Wishes. And I'm just going to stamp right in onto the inside of my card. I'm using my Simon Says Stamp like acetate sheet and it just helps line things up. You'll see that I've got a waffle flower grip mat in my Misty. Um, I'm liking that, it really holds the paper well so it doesn't move around. Now I'm going to stamp that sentiment right on the inside. You'll see to my right, I have a little piece of ephemera or whatever you wanna call it. And that is from the Doodlebug's um, Gingerbread Kisses Odds and Ends set. I just thought it was cute because it has a super cute little gingerbread person on there. Now I'm going to add three hearts from that same Odds and Ends set. There we go. And um, I just kind of like the look of it. I think it looks pretty. You know, it's nice to pretty up the inside of your cards sometimes. People don't expect it. Now I'm pulling out a white jelly roll pen from Secura, number 10. And I'm just going to add some freckles and highlights. You know, no rhyme or reason. I don't follow a light source because I'm not that talented. I just sort of sprinkle them here and there. And it's enough. I think it makes a difference. There we go. So I'm adding a few little dots. And now the inside of my card is done. So I'm quickly going to chop off his little legs. I know it's terrible, but he's going to be pop, um, you know, peeking out from behind this gingerbread booth. Remember, you can watch me put that together, um, the Build a Booth Gingerbread House Add-ons assembly video over on the Jada Blossom YouTube site or on the Leanne K YouTube site. There we go. And everything will be listed on my blog that went into building that. I'm just going to layer up this. Um, this little chimney just because you know it's not at the same level as the rest of the booth and I want it when it sticks down on my card I want it to stick flat so I'm going to have this little guy popping out and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do I decide to use um, some Stampin' Up Dimensionals to kind of have his head kind of coming forward a little bit but his bottom will start out level with the booth so I'm just peeling off the uh, little release papers. And there we go, isn't that cute? I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this gnome. So when I stick him down on my card front, he's all set to go. So, so cute. There we go. So that is the same paper pad that I used. I, and I also used Doodlebug's Gingham Linen and Dot Stripe, um, Pure Poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, White cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, Soft Stone, Dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. But like I said, everything will be listed. Isn't that cute? I also pulled out Nouveau Crystal Drops and Simply White for the little nail heads. And I used Nouveau Glitter Accents Fresh Snowfall for the little bit of glitter on that gingerbread booth. Now this little gingerbread girl is from that Gnome Dyes Gingerbread Add-ons assembly. Um, and you can see me put that together on the assembly video. Super cute stuff. I did use American Crafts black and brown cardstock to put that together along with Paper Trank white cardstock. I'm just going to pop up this sign so it straddles that little candy cane support on my booth. Isn't that cute stuff? And I'm going to add a little bit of glue just on the string. And I will stick that down and I will use my reverse tweezers to hold the string so it glues down flat. I'm pulling out my shape sprinkles from Doodlebug. Uh, these are called gingerbread trimmings and I'm using the little circles. I'm going to cover the little circle um, on the handle of my booth, of my door on the booth. And then I decide to cover up the little jimmies on his hat as well or sprinkles or whatever you want to call them. And I'm just going to sort of alternate the colors for fun. And I just think this turned out super cute. I tend to get these shape sprinkle packs and I don't know, it, it's almost like I'm hoarding them. I'm not using them enough. So I'm trying to make an effort to use these up because it's silly to have this stuff hanging around your craft room that you don't use, right? So I'm just sort of, you know, putting different colored sprinkles on his hat. So isn't that sweet? And I will add a white little heart to the door as well, because why not, right? 
And isn't that the cutest thing ever? I just think it turned out adorable. So thank you so much for, for stopping by. Make sure you hop on over to the Jadal Blossom blog. Get inspired. The Jadal Blossom store to get shopping. Remember, you have a chance to win the December 2023 release. You're going to want to get your hands on that because it's amazing. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.